She was hit by a car, shot in the head, left for dead. Dosha, the miracle dog, took a licking but kept on ticking. Dr. Shiri Hoshan at the Clear Lake Veterinary Clinic joins us to talk about this amazing story, this amazing dog. Doctor, thanks so much for being here. Tell us first, if you would, or show us, if you would, uh, what kind of injuries uh, Dosha got from being hit by the car in the first place. It looks like she was hit in the head. She has a wound on her muzzle right here. And on x-rays, we could see that her cheekbone was broken. Mm -hmm. And she seemed to have neurologic problems when she first came to the clinic. Right. Now, doctor, if you originally saw those kind of injuries, would you feel that it, it was necessary to, to put an animal out of its misery? It's hard to judge hard what's going to happen with them. Sure, mm -hmm. and, and hard to say what... I wasn't there. Right, hard to say what yeah. that police officer, but from what we've heard, uh, he just felt he was doing the right thing by, by putting the animal out of its misery. But then uh, the, the dog, uh, the Dosha there, survived the, the shot. Now, can you describe exactly where the bullet went and where it apparently came out? Yeah, it appears that the, she was shot right here behind her ear, behind the head and the bullet was found right under the skin right there now what and, are, doctor what are the odds of of that shot just you know keeping her somehow letting her live i guess depends on where it went yeah now depends on the shot so now after this, I understand that uh, Dosha was taken to, I guess, the dog equivalent of a, of a morgue. Is that right? And put in some sort of a bag. Can you tell us about that? She was put in the freezer for um, dead animals. They presumed that she was dead at the scene. And an animal control officer came probably a couple hours later and opened the freezer and saw there she was huddled and still alive. Now, this was all in the same day, so the dog was, was mm -hmm. hit by a car, was injured, then shot, uh, the, the bullet went, went through her, and then put in a freezer. Now, what would, aside from all the other stuff, what would uh, being uh, put in a freezer for a couple of hours do to an animal? Organ damage, cells don't survive below a certain temperature difficulty breathing but she seemed to pull through it pretty well she was cold but obviously not so cold to get frostbite or any apparent permanent damage from it doctor i don't know if you were around for that for that part of it when she came out of the the freezer apparently alive do you have any idea what the what the reaction was shock yeah yeah i guess i guess this suffices to say that now what kind of a treatment has has she been getting Antibiotics for her wounds, pain management, initially fluid therapy, and certainly to begin with heating her until she returned back to normal temperature. Mm -hmm. How old a dog is she? She's just a pup. She's eight months old. Wow. Do you think that helped her survive, that she's young and probably pretty feisty? Yeah, I'm sure it did. Okay, so what does the future hold for her? She seems to be pretty well recovered. She may have some damage to one of her ears, could be from the impact of the car, the shot, and that's going to be looked into as she's doing a little better, but she has a family that loves her. They found her that same day mm -hmm. at the clinic, and um, I think she'll do fine. All right. When does she go home she to them? She stays in her yard next few days. All right. Okay, well, we sure wish her luck. What, what an amazing dog. Thank you, doctor, for talking with us this morning. Appreciate it. Good to talk to you. Straight ahead, prosecutors expected to decide by May 19th whether to ask for the death penalty in the Scott Peterson case. We'll have a fair and balanced debate coming up. Also, China trying to curb the spread of SARS, the country's latest move coming after a major jump in the number of reported cases. Much more straight ahead. You're watching Fox News Channel. Real journalism, fair and balanced.